Hi guys, this is Peter again with another Stage Tricks tutorial. Today I would like to explain what the Advanced Q mode is and how to use it. So the Q is actually what is working all the time within Stage Tricks. It is the way how Stage Tricks handles um, songs uh, and the, the order of songs it uh, will play. And usually you don't have to care about it. Just select a song or uh, a playlist and it will play the songs in the order you see. But uh, there is a possibility to dive a little bit deeper. And the first step is to uh, um, enable showing the queue in the app. And this is how it's done. You select settings and then uh, you tap on queue. And here is the point Show Q tab. When you enable it, you can see on the bottom tab bar that there is a new entry. It's called Q. When we select it, it shows us what songs are queued up in stage tracks to be played. And uh, usually, if you select any song, let's say Mercy, it will just queue up this song and all the songs that are following it until uh, it will start over at the beginning of the list and uh, stop at the same song again. So here we have a total of seven songs and that means that the queue will contain seven songs starting with Mercy. Uh, you can see it on the queue tab. And the same um, when we go to a, a playlist and select a song in the playlist. This playlist has just three songs the queue will contain only three songs in the order uh, the playlist defined. Now, if you want uh, to have more control over queuing up songs, you can do that by enabling the advanced queue mode. Um, you find it in settings in the queue tab and enabling the advanced queue mode will enable two more options. Um, double tap to enqueue and uh, the option to define where you want new songs to be queued up. Um, so wh when do you want to do this using the advanced queue mode? Basically it's um, meant for people who want uh, to work without predefined playlists. So if you like to read the crowd and decide on the fly what to play next, the advanced queue mode is something you want to take a look at. How does it work? So if we have enabled it and we are somewhere, let's say, on the songs tab, tapping a song will add it to the queue. So you can see our queue consists of three songs. Now if I tap on another song, let's say Freak Out, it is added to the end of the queue. We can check that. Here, indeed, it is at the end of the queue. There is another option. You can slide to the right in this mode and there is a play button. And this means the song will be added at the beginning of the queue. So now this is the current song that we will be playing. Um, the option double tap to enqueue, I find it very useful because sometimes you don't want to accidentally tap on a song and uh, uh, have it added to that queue. So mostly I'm using this when I want to use advanced queue mode. In that case, you just need to double tap and then the song has been added, as you can see. Um, when you want to work with playlists, there is a new button in the playlist overview. And if you tap that, the queue will be cleared and um, the playlist loaded into the queue. Um, another way to work with playlists is if you slide them to the right, there is this plus button. This will add the contents of this playlist to the queue. So you can see in the top, in the bottom left corner, we have currently three songs on the queue. And if we edit at this playlist, now we have six songs in the queue. Um, 
Selecting songs within the queue works the same as in the song list, so a double tap and it will be added uh, to the queue. The nice thing is that you can add the same song multiple, multiple times to the queue. Um, it will be just added to the end. Now, uh, you can modify the queue and all the changes you make to the queue are not reflected in the playlist. So, for example, if you loaded a playlist into the queue, everything you edit in the queue tab will not um, change the playlist. This is quite useful if you have, uh, for example, um, themed playlists, uh, let's say a standard dinner playlist, uh, and want to make just changes for um, this evening. So you can do that in, uh, in the Q tab and it will not reflect back to the playlist. If you do the changes on the playlist directly, it will be stored in the playlist. So you, you might um, maybe damage your playlist uh, if you think about this. Um, how can we uh, modify the queue? So we are in the queue tab. Of course, in the top right hand corner, there is uh, this uh, clear button. It will clear the queue. Then on the left, we have the sort button. We can sort the queue A to Z, Z to A and shuffle it around. But uh, mostly you would like, I guess you would like to make manual changes. And uh, you can do that by just holding down an entry and moving it to a new position or with the slide menu to the right and you see two arrows pointing down and up. This can be used to quickly move an item to the bottom of the playlist or queue um, or move the, button, uh, the item to the top of the queue. If you are currently playing something and uh, you want to queue up something next, the played song will not be modified. Um, it, it will, so if you are playing something and select the to the top action, it will be aligned as the next song. Um, the same is true for the currently playing song. There is no slide menu, you cannot modify it if it is playing. Any song that is not yet playing can be modified. And um, lastly, there is also the option to enable autoplay only for the, all the songs in the queue or for specific songs in the queue by sliding to the left and selecting autoplay. Or of course with the, uh, with the buttons uh, in the big player view. So if we have something selected, um, you know, uh, if, uh, if we have the current song, this is only working, always working for the current song, enabling this button will uh, make it autoplay or disabling autoplay. Uh, now, that's basically it for advanced queue mode. It is, um, you, you need to wrap your head a little bit around it because it's uh, working a bit differently than the uh, normal operating mode. It does not automatically play a song when you select it. You really need to uh, load that song in the, into the queue uh, to make it play back. Uh, but once you wrap your head around it, I think it's a very powerful uh, tool uh, to use if you are working primarily with on-the-fly playlists. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this topic today and uh, let's uh, see what we can talk about next week. See you. Bye-bye.